Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I use the M Behavior Basics plugin to animate things in my videos, just how I use it personally. Um, and maybe this will help you guys understand it better and just get the grasp of really what this plugin does. Before we get started, I do have a video on a bunch of free Final Cut Pro plugins that you might like and wanna check out. Um, I mentioned this in that video as well. So if you would like to check that out, I'll have that in the eye up top and the description box below. This plugin is free. I got it from motionvfx.com. Um, they have a bunch of cool plugins on their platform. Most of them you do need to pay for, but here and there they have some free um, plugins that you can use, which are not like full plugins or maybe demos of plugins. So they have a few that you can choose from and I love their website. So yeah, I'll leave the link in the description box below where I got the plugin. Um, this is, like I said, the free one. So you have mBehavior and then that one is like the full one, which costs money. And then you have mBehavior Basics, which is um, the basics and then not um, full price, you just get it for free, which is really nice. In the free version, I'm pretty sure you get like 90 different types of animation, which includes in animations, out animations, and then throughout animations. And then with a full one, you get like 150 or something animations. Um, so yeah, this is where we're covering today's video. So let's get into Final Cut Pro and then we can test this out. So to test this out and show you guys how I actually do this, I'm gonna be just using this project that I have here. So this is just a video that I uploaded last week on emojis on iOS 16. Um, so the reason I'm gonna be using this project also specifically is because it has an iPhone with a screen recording in it as an overlay over my A-roll because that's how I mostly use this plugin is to animate my overlays. Obviously you can do whatever you want um, with this, but this is just mainly how I use it just because it helps me out a lot with adding in things over my A-roll that just makes it come in more smoothly or just look better than just having it just like slide in or something um so yeah they have a bunch of cool little things that i can um show you guys a bunch of cool animations so let's go to the title section and then we're gonna go to in behavior basics so as you can see like i said we have in animations out animations throughout so this these are all the in animations i'm gonna go through all these um you can go ahead and download it for yourself and then go through which ones you would prefer then we have our out animations here and then we have our throughout animations. Um, so yeah, those are, this is what it looks like in your Final Cut Pro. So like I said, it's going, you go to the title section um, and then you'll see it here in Behavior Basic. So now for how I actually use it. I'm gonna start a new project just to show you guys. So here you can see I have my A-roll here that usually I have the iPhone in the screen recording kind of coming over in it. Um, so now that we have that, we're gonna drag over the screen recording and I'm also gonna drag over the iPhone PNG that I usually have. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and group this and make it into a compound clip. So just click on option G um, and then click on okay. And then you'll see it is now a compound clip. So we basically group those two clips together. Then I usually position the screen recordings where I want it to be on my video, um, size it a bit. And then what I usually do is I need to decide how I want my screen recording to come into my video, which is where I use the MBehavior Basics um, pack. Um, so say I want this to either, you can either have it like drop in or I can have it slide in from the side. I'm gonna go ahead and go to titles and see which one I like. So this for this, we're gonna be using the in animations. Um, so let's see which one I prefer. Uh, enlarge can also work. Usually I use the drop in one like this. So it just drops in like that. Or sometimes I use the um, bounce in. You have plain um, move ins as well. Like this is just a plain linear move in. Um, lower in is also kind of cute. Um, it just, it depends on how long I want the animation to last. If I just wanted to quickly come in, I'm not gonna go for something as elaborate as that. Um, so yeah, let's see what this one, it's also nice. I just like that these are way softer, like for instance, the bounce in, it's way, or drop in, it's way softer than you would, if you would try to like keyframe this yourself, it would take so long. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the drop in just because it is one that I like the most. Um, so what thing you need to know about um, the in behavior basic is it works as a title. So if I drag this in here, this is gonna be our animation. You will see that if I play this now, it's gonna affect every single clip underneath. So as you can see, my A-roll is also being um, animated to the drop-in where I just want the screen recording. So for this pack, um, I always say like in Behavior Basics for this, that um, 
Compound clips are gonna be your best friend when using these, it just helps so much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a compound clip with our screen recording and our aim behavior basic title, um, just so that it only affects the screen recording and not the A-roll. Um, so what you do is you just select both your clips or whatever, how many clips you want in your compound clip. And then again, like I mentioned, option G, click on OK. And um, as you can see now, when it lowers it in, it's just the screen recording and the iPhone that is um, being influenced by this. Um, so that is how you do that. So usually how I go about this for my videos is I got the animation where I want to start the screen recording. I animate it. I can obviously move it around also now. Either way, it's going to come in, drop in like it needs to. And then usually I make a compound clip with my screen recording and then also my A-roll clip just so that it is also grouped together. And then we have now a few groups in one group. So then this clip will just have everything so I can easily just cut through my clips. Usually my screen recording and my A-roll will be synced in audio so that I know the timing is correct. Um, so then we have something that looks like this. So one timeline with just um, all my things in it that I can just easily cut out any like pauses that I have or anything. Um, and then what I usually do is I need to put it at the end when I want the screen recording to go out of my video. So say I've made a few cuts here and here, um, and this here, I don't want the screen recording to be in anymore because it's maybe my outro. So then usually I would go to maybe like this clip here. And as you can see here, we still have our screen recording running. I might cut it like just here take that out so now you'll see it just has it for a few seconds and then it goes out usually i like to have it stay there in my outro for like a second just so you can see it moving out um, so that's why it's just in the first few seconds of the first clip um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to animate it out by using an out animation so we're going to go into that compound clip and then we're going to go into another one um, so this is the one i want just because it only has the phone the screen recording so what i'm going to do now going to go here I'm going to go to the out animations and find one that I want I can also have a dart out that could also work I think I'm going to go with that one just to mix it up a bit so then we're just going to go ahead and drag this to here the reason this part is um, kind of darkened out is because this is the part that's not visible because we cut our clip so it would usually go on here um, just because we cut it so then it's um, not visible so if we go into that clip this part is the part that's cut out um, but it still shows you the entire compound clip but it just shows you that this part is not usable anymore so then I just usually put my title right there when it goes out otherwise if I put it like here we still have this part so then you're just gonna see it go out of my clip and then just appear again so that doesn't work so I like I said just put it like right there so now if I go out again and back to my main clip, you will see that it just kind of, um, let me just get the timing right there. It kind of moves out. So that is how I usually use the MBA of your basics title pack to animate things. Um, like I said, this can work with a variety of things. If you just want to animate a simple photo, let me just quickly show you guys how to do that. A lot of times I add like app icons over my videos or something like that. Um, and then this also helps a lot with animating those just to have them come in a bit better than you just, them just appearing on the screen. So let's go ahead and add that. So in this video, I talk a lot about iOS 16. So let's bring in that, um, yeah, like that. So how I usually go about this is I get import the thing that I want to animate. Then I just position it to where I want it to finally be positioned. So the final destination of it, um, obviously scale it a bit, things like that. Okay, so now I know that when my video comes in um, or when my thing comes in, this is gonna be this final position. We just wanna animate it in or maybe even throughout. But um, yeah, so this is what I have. So let's do a let's do full animation with an in animation, a through animation and an out animation. So again, like I said, what's the key to these um, using this is compound clips because otherwise we're gonna have this and this um, be animated. Um, so I'm already going to just create a compound clip by clicking option G. Then I'm going to go in here and then we're going to go ahead and animate it. So we also just want to set the duration from the beginning. So we have the start point and the end point and we know it's the right du um, duration. So we don't have to sit, struggle with 
retiming um, it and then having to retiming it here as well in the compound clip as well, if that makes sense to you. Um, so, okay, let's start with our in animation. Let's do something else. We're gonna do the bounce in, I think. Yeah, we're gonna do that one. So this is what it's gonna look when it comes in. Um, let's do a throughout animation just because we can. Uh, let's see. So they have quite a few ones. Some of them are very extravagant. As you can see, <laughs> it's quite hectic. Um, so I'm gonna go with this condensed one. Like I said, they are very um, like over the top extravagant, but um, just for the sake of this video, I don't usually use the throughout animations, but um, as an option, they are really nice. Um, so yeah, this is the one I'm gonna be going with. And then for the out animation, let's choose a nice one. I think we're just gonna go with the bounce out again for the out animation, just so it kind of is cohesive with the in animation. So now let's go out of here. We have our in, our throughout, and then here at the end we have our out animation. I feel like maybe I should overlap the out animation and the throughout just because it's kind of choppy. Yeah, that looks better. So now this is what it looks like when we have it over our A roll clip here. Um, it kind of moves in, then throughout. Like I said, it's very dramatic. I feel like um, condensing it a bit, make me just making this clip smaller or something, will make the animation not as, I don't know, extravagant as it is. Uh, let's try just that. I mean, that's better, I feel like. So that's the throughout, and then we have our out animation here. Um, yeah, so that is how you use the M Behavior Basics title pack slash animation pack to edit some things in your videos, add some animations and fun things just to make it work better and look better when adding in things. Um, and it just saves you a lot of time. Like I said, if you had to do this with keyframing, you'd sit here forever. So just having something to quickly add over your videos is very helpful. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any other questions regarding this or what other type of videos you'd like to see from me regarding like Final Cut Pro and things like that because I love making these videos and helping you guys out. Comment down below any other questions you might have for me regarding this. Um, I love helping you guys out, so definitely leave a comment down below. Subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other Final Cut Pro related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.